Hi, Eileen Bayer, the fam here. Welcome to another installment in our anti-anxiety in activities and challenges. And in today's installment, I will be teaching you how to meditate in nine simple steps. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to commit five to thirty minutes a day. To begin with, start with five minutes. Most people find fifteen minutes optimal. But literally five minutes of meditation is beneficial. As for how often it is said that meditation should be aimed for daily, like brushing your teeth. The second thing that you're going to need to do is eliminate any and all distractions. Obviously, if you're a mom, the 3 to 5 p.m., which is a bewitching hour, would not be a good time. You want to choose a time in your day where you have the least amount of distraction, maybe early in the morning or at lunchtime or at early evening or after your supper, whatever time, pick a time that's the least distracting for you. Next, you're going to relax and get comfortable. Some like to stretch before meditation as it loosens the body and helps you to relax. Remember, if you're a beginner, it's hard to sit still. So stretching and relaxing gets your mind in the zone. The next thing you're going to need to do for step four is choose your position. As far as your position, whether lying down or sitting up, that's a personal choice. Some like to sit, some like to lie down. The only rule is you should be comfortable with a straight spine and not slouching. If you are sitting, relax and rest your hands on your lap. You can sit on the floor cross-legged with the support of a cushion or on a chair with your feet resting on the ground. It's not necessary to force yourself into a lotus position if you're not comfortable. Step 5. Focus your mind. Be prepared for your mind to wander. The key in meditation is to keep your mind on the present moment and not in the past, nor on what you have to do in an hour. This is the time to be still, to relax, to literally heal yourself. Once you've chosen the optimal time, you are comfortable and relaxed. You will be ready to focus your mind and on your breath. You can meditate with your eyes open or closed. That is a personal choice. Sometimes listening to relaxed music can help in meditation. If you like meditating with music, then go right ahead. Step 6. You want to learn to breathe slowly and deeply. Close your eyes fully. Begin by taking a few slow and deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. I will show you what they mean. You go. Don't worry if they're not big breaths. That will come gradually. Uh, the first few intakes of air are likely to be shallow. But as you allow more air to fill your lungs each time, your breath will gradually become deeper and fuller. Take as long as you need to breathe and breathe in slowly and deeply. When you are breathing in deeply, you will begin to feel calmer and more relaxed. <clears throat> Step 7. If your mind wanders, bring it back to your breathing. If your mind wanders, now know that this is normal for the mind to wander and gently try to bring it back to the now, to your breathing. Your mind may wander as often as every five seconds. That's totally okay. As you meditate more often, your mind will wander less and your body and mind will truly relax. It's hard to sit still and focus on your breath, but make that gentle conscious effort to bring your mind back to the moment. That is what meditation actually is. Bringing your awareness back to what you were doing. 
On a side note, if you're falling asleep, consider changing your position from lying to sitting. Step 8. Ending the meditation. When you're ready to end your meditation, open your eyes and stand up slowly. Good job. You did it. Now practice makes perfect. It's not a race. Remember, you can only meditate if you can only meditate for three minutes per now, that's fine. With time you'll increase your meditation time, therefore increasing all the benefits you will experience from meditation. The difference over time is remarkable. You will begin to feel peaceful, calm and happy. Stick with it. It will feel frustrating at first, and that's okay. It will get better as time goes along. So remember, you want to sit peacefully, or you can lie down. You can put on some calming meditation music. But if you start falling asleep while meditating, then sit up. Get in a chair, put your feet flat on the floor, rest your hands on your lap, and just... Close your eyes, practice the breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And do this for about five minutes, three to five minutes to start with. In the first installment on meditation, I taught you a quick, simple one minute meditation. Now I'm bringing it a little bit further. With this one, you start with five minutes. Once you've done five minutes for like a week, try to increase it up a little bit, maybe by two minutes. And then another two minutes. So you, you until you gradually get up to the 15 minutes a day. Once you're on the 15 minutes of meditation a day, stick with that. And just relax. There are so many ways that we can help fight anxiety, depression, loneliness, stress, take all these tools that I am teaching you through these series, make use to them. Now, some may not work for you and others may. Meditation has been known to work for a lot of different things. They use it um, for healing, and they use it for cancer patients, they use it for a lot of different things. Um, Read up on it if you want. Meditation is one of the simplest forms of relaxation there is. Um, unlike yoga where there's stretching and body movement, um, which is what we were talking about when they say stretching. Um, some people you combine the yoga with meditation, which is fine. If you're that advanced, go ahead and put some yoga in with your meditation um, before you start. That's perfectly fine. Um, I know when I was doing martial arts, we had meditation before we began. Um, and then we did our stretches, and then we did, you know, the martial arts. <coughs> Excuse me. So meditation is used in a lot of different things. It's a way to empty yourself, especially if you're feeling tense and stressed. Take a few moments out of the day when that happens. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth a couple of times. Find a nice quiet spot and just practice breathing. You may not have three minutes to do at that moment, but if you can do the simple one-minute meditation, everybody at work can spare. If you're at an office, say this is my work office and I'm really stressed out, I'm going to take a minute, whether it's my lunch break or whatever, or even during the work day, if I'm at a desk job, I'm going to take one minute and I'm going to meditate. So then when I come back to work, I'm more refreshed, I'm not as stressed. Then at lunchtime, if I can do it a little bit longer, I'll do a five minute. Take the time to meditate when, when you can. There's so many applications that you can download for free on um, in the Google Play Store. Um, I'm not sure what's available on the iPhone, but I'm sure they have some meditation apps that are free on there as well. So please remember, 
you out there. I see you, and I love you for who you are. You're a very special, unique person. And you are very much worth it. Don't ever let anybody tell you you're not. Yes, I'm looking right at you. I can't get any closer because I'm actually like I was kissing the computer. But I'm looking right at you. And you are very special to me. Each and every one of you are. Because you were uniquely made and you were put here for a purpose. And no one here is better than anybody else. So when somebody puts you down, tell yourself. A lot of times it's because they're in pain. And if you want trying to put somebody down, learn to see with this, with the heart, and not with these. When you see with these, you hurt people because you're judging wrongly. Learn to see from within because that's what counts. That's where the heart is. That's the soul. That's what makes the person. The heart is where it counts. This can't see what's inside. The only thing the eyes can see is the shell. But the heart can penetrate through the skin. It penetrates through the skin and gets down to what the person is about. So remember, in your daily walk, if you come across somebody that kind of irritates you for some reason, think before you speak. You don't know what that person's going through. You're not living their life. You're not walking a mile in their shoes. You don't know if they have a mental illness that's not been diagnosed. You don't know if they just lost a loved one in their life. <coughs> you don't know what's going through them. Take a deep breath at that moment and do thoughtful thinking. Why is they, are they acting like this? What can I do to change their perception? And you'll see that makes a whole big difference. Remember, you're uniquely made and I love you for you. So until we see each other again, Bye.